This week you'll read their minds and break their souls with the greatest card trick we've ever taught. <laughs> I don't know, why am I laughing? That's not funny. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Netflix. 250 episodes, a million beers and counting, and we still got tricks up our sleeve. Welcome to Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we're gonna show you one of my all-time favorite card tricks, bar none. He uses a principle that you've already learned before, and it will absolutely melt the brains and break the souls of everyone you perform it for. Get ready to destroy some lives and then feel guilty for destroying your lives and be all like writing apologetic letters about how I'm really, I should not have destroyed your life. Please, that's, it was just a card trick. Please don't, it's a good trick. So last night, one of my all time favorite things happened, right? We're sitting there at the bar and then all of a sudden I hear, Dude, are you the guy from Scam School? The guy on YouTube that does the tricks? <laughs> and I look over and I meet my new friend, Pavel. How are you doing, Pavel? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. So how did you come across Scam School? Uh, I was just looking up scams on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I was looking to defraud elderly people. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, this one you won't be able to make any money with. However, it's gonna be a really, really good trick. This may, in fact, be my all-time favorite card trick. We were doing card tricks beforehand and you saw me doing a bunch of uh, flipping cards. They're all clapping for it. They liked it very much. It. But of course, I just do want you to verify they're all different cards and it's not, we don't truck with trick decks cards. Check this out. But everything checks out, right? I, yeah. All right. I mean, so the reason <laughs> it's important, I, I don't want you to think there's anything weird about the cards because we're about to do an experiment in psychology, all right? Okay. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna shuffle the cards first so that I know they're shuffled. You shuffle up those cards. All right. Make sure there's no way I can know. Once right. you're certain, those cards are totally shuffled. All right. Give me half the cards, you take the other half the cards. All right. Now here's the thing. Out of this whole pack, I'm gonna shuffle mine up just so you can't possibly know the order. I'm gonna spread the cards like this and one of the cards is gonna call to you. When it calls to you, you just say stop okay. and then I'll stop. I want you to take that card, set it face down right here. Now keep in mind, this is your card. From this point forward, anytime I say your card, that's the one you're picking. This is like you're marrying a card. Okay. You will never ever be able to divorce this card without it like stealing your children and <laughs> get, breaking your heart. You'll end up buying a Ferrari to make up for the loss of this card, all right? Okay. So it's gotta be important to you. Okay, Okay. you ready? I'm ready. Do, do not go into this lightly. Right there. Which one? This one right there? No. This right. one right there? No, the next one. Right here. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, go ahead and take it. Set it face down, right there. Boom, boom, boom. No way. All right, same thing. Now I'm gonna pick my soulmate of a card. Forever, this will be my card. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right, uh, 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 that's the one, that's the one, right there. Boom. All right. Now I'm gonna try to hide my soulmate for you by mixing it in my cards. Okay. I'm gonna put it in there, I'm gonna shuffle it up, and you're never gonna find my soulmate. She's lost to you, so okay. don't even try. Now you try to hide that soulmate from me. Just mix her up there. You remember your soulmate card, right? Yeah. I remember my soulmate card. Okay. I'm gonna see, let's swap and see if I can find your soulmate, see if you can find mine. Now, as you go through those cards, I want you to think, which one of these cards would Brian Brushwood pick? Like, which one of these does he feel a kinship bonded to forever? I got it. I see Pavel's soulmate right here. I did my best to hide it from you. But you picked this one to be my soulmate, right? Right. I picked this one to be your soulmate. Okay. Do you remember, did you see what card you picked for my soulmate? Because I'll tell you, my soulmate was the five of spades. Which one did you pick for me? Which one did I pick? Yeah. Which one did you think was my soulmate? What the hell, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no. So you, you thought no. I picked the five of spades. No. No, I'll tell no, you what. Dude. What was your what was your soulmate? It was the Ace of Clubs. Are you sure? Yeah. Because that's exactly. Dude, no. 
what I picked as well. <laughs> do this. <laughs> what? All right. No. Did you like that? Yeah, dude. That was... All right, we're gonna learn how to do this, but All first right, we gotta thank our sponsors. Yes. Woo. You know what's stupid? Cable television? What are you spending a hundred bucks a month for the privilege of having channels where you have to remember numbers that are codes for different groups of content? And then they decide what order they're gonna play the movies and television shows in? That's dumb, dude. Get Netflix. You can watch anything you want instantly. Stream it to your Xbox 360, your PS3, your Wii, your iPhone, your iPad, your Nintendo devices. The fact is, is Netflix is the greatest thing that happened in my lifetime. And yes, I'm including penicillin because I'm 137 years old. But the important thing is you guys gotta head on over to Netflix, sign up for your free 30-day trial at netflix.com slash scamschool. Sign up, get your free 30-day trial, and then it's all you can eat scams and cons movies. You can watch The Sting, The Grifters, House of Games, uh, The Spanish Prisoner, Paper Moon, and then when you're done, just say backsies, don't feel like paying. And by the way, thanks for kicking some cash over to Scam School. I'm gonna go drink some free beer. Thanks, Netflix. What I love about this is that we've already taught the method to this trick. In fact, yeah, I think it was over a hundred episodes we taught how to do it, and I'm gonna expose it to you right now. All right. But the whole effect, what I love about this, is that there's, it's one of the few tricks where somebody can wrap their mind around it and try to do like real psychic magic powers, and then they turn out to be right. And that moment of like, I think Brian would pick this card, and then they're totally right, blows them away. The key is to use the ultimate Swiss Army knife of magic, a marked deck of cards. Now we taught how to make marked decks of cards like 150 episodes. I think it was back around like episode 50 or so that we taught how to do it. And if you made a marked deck of cards, you could do this trick today. I unfortunately am lazy and stupid. So I rely on a store-bought brand of marked cards. We actually have these over at scamstuff.com. Uh, it's called the Ultimate Marked Deck of Cards. In fact, the only way that you can know if you have a marked deck of cards is to actually riffle through the cards. They call that going to the movies. You can see oh, the numbers yeah. changing right oh, in there, right? Insane. So it doesn't matter what kind of marked deck you have. You can mark it yourself, you can buy a marked deck, but as long as you can see what the card is on the other side, you can do this trick. So let's walk through the steps of it. First of all, all the cards are shuffled. You shuffled them all up and you get half and I get half, right? Right. This first part, I make sure that you pick a card first. And Pavel, as I spread them across, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the backs of the cards, right? <laughs> and so as I go through, you just say stop whenever you want. Stop. All right, which one you want? You want that one? Yeah. Now, keep in mind, like I'm pausing a moment, saying, are you sure you want that one? But meanwhile, I'm looking so I can see it's the jack of spades. So before the trick even begins, I know that you're choosing the jack of spades. So go ahead and take the jack of spades and you set it down. And then I set these cards here. Then you spread the cards for me. Now this is why it's important that you can't do this one with a big audience around because the audience will be able to tell that I'm not really paying attention to these cards at all. Go ahead and spread them in front of me. I'm not really paying attention at all to what these cards are. I'm just pretending like one of them is important. I pull it out and I totally forget it instantly, okay? So now, I'm gonna say this one came from your pack. This is my card, I'm gonna hide it in here. I don't know what it was, I don't care. That's your card that you picked. You're gonna hide it in there. I say, let's shuffle it up. You shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And keep in mind, I already know you have the Jack of Spades. And I've got some, I've got nothing over here, right? Yeah. So at this point, I'm just thinking Jack of Spades, 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 Jack of Spades. And they say, now, let's try to find each other's soulmate. So we'll trade decks. And meanwhile, I'm thinking Jack of Spades, 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 Jack of Spades. And then I give you a fool's errand. I say, go through and try to figure out which card spoke to Brian Brushwood. Now, whatever card you pick, I take a moment and I'm, this is what's great, is I'm acting like what I'm doing is being dramatic here as I put the cards together. What I'm really doing is slowly pulling the cards forward and saying, oh, it looks like a jack of hearts. And so I'll put them side by side, right? <laughs> and so now I casually mention, and this is up for debate. Some people feel like it's more amazing to find their card. Some people feel like it's more amazing when they pick your card. I feel like it's more amazing to just offhandedly say, 
Uh, all right, let's go ahead and show. I'll tell you what, I'll just tell you, my card was the Jack of Hearts. Which one did you pick? And usually you'll get a reaction right then. People will be like, you know, they're like, what? And they're like, why? Which one did you pick? And then they'll turn it over and they're like, oh yeah, no, you got my card, good job. <laughs> and at this point, it's kind of a foregone conclusion. It's just like, uh, well, which what, what was your card? Jack of Spades. Jack of Spades. And we all, boom, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> That's so, all right, so here's the question. Do you think you could pull it off on me? Yeah, I can pull it off. All right, let's do this then. All right. Go for it. All right, what I'm gonna need you to do is shuffle the deck. Mix them up? Yep. So that you can't know the order? Exactly. So that you can't possibly have some kind of tricky magician crap going on. There we go. Totally random order. What's all up? All right, now split the deck in half. All right. Give me, your, give me one half, keep one half. That's yours, these all are right. mine. You're gonna spread the cards? I'm gonna spread the cards. And, and I'm gonna pick shoot. a soulmate? Choose your soulmate. Got it. All right, keep going. Other way. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Not. I'm not believe. I'm, I'm not liking any of these. These are all dirty skank whores. <laughs> There's a. Wait. There's my beautiful mistress right okay. there. I'm gonna set it right there so you can't ever see her. What's up? Now what? Now you do the same thing for me. Oh, you're gonna pick a pick, soulmate. Let me pick a soulmate. All right. All right. Here you go. I'll just pick them out. You pick whichever one you want. Doesn't See anything you like? Maybe one of these, one of those? Right there. Wait, wait, which one? Right there is fine. All right, go ahead and take that one. You put it in. So, uh, so, all right, so your card you're gonna hide in your deck, right. and I'll hide my card in mine. I'm gonna mix it up real good so you don't find her, because she's precious and sweet. Got it. No way I could possibly, you could possibly find her. All right, now we're gonna switch our cards and find our soulmate. Oh, so you want me to find your soulmate hidden away in this deck? Yes. So you want me to wrap my mind around what's it like to be Pommel yeah. and see if I, like which of these cards was your choice? Right. All right, all right. Got it. This is a very Pommel card. The important question is, which one's my card, bro? All right, I found it. All right, put it right there, bro. So what's up? I'm pretty sure I got your card. Actually, I'm supposed to be the spectator, so I should be like, I don't know, I just sort of guessed <laughs> at what I think your card might have been. I don't know. All right, so what was my card? Well, I don't know, what was your card? Three of hearts. You picked the three of hearts? Yeah. <gasps> Shut up, because that's totally what I guessed you would have picked. But there's no way you got my card. I, I picked the ace of hearts. Wow! <laughs> in my face! That was awesome, Pablo. Very well done. Congratulations. Let's get drunk. <laughs> now, the good news about this effect is that it requires no sleight of hand. It uses a marked deck that you already have in your arsenal, but the important thing is that you make sure to remember each process of the step perfectly so that you're able to pick those right moments to figure out what card is the one they picked. By the way, if you want to pick up one of those ultimate mark deck of cards, hit us up over at scamstuff.com where we got a bunch of goodies right here from scamschool.tv. And if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. And while we're at it, why don't we be best friends? Hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash schwood. Follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. And don't forget to join us next week because we're all going to Twitter bomb at LeVar Burton to make Scam School Book One the next recommended reading on Reading Rainbow. Assuming it's still on the air. I'm sure it's still on the air.